So I decided to work on this guy's uh, wig. I wanted to make him a dread wig. I've never made any wig at all, let alone a dread, wi dread wig before, but I've been researching for a while and I decided I was gonna try to use a um, wool roving um, felting technique. I don't know why I'm out of breath. Um, and a lot of the inspiration was from uh, Cedar Heart, I believe her name is, and I'll le link a put a link to the picture that I saw and was like, that's what I've been looking for. Because before I was just gonna buy him a dread wig. But anyways, so I've been testing out and I just want to show you what I've gotten so far, what I've figured out so far. So I wish I had kept the first one the way it looked originally before I figured out how to fix it. But this is my first one. Um, when I didn't know what I was doing, it was really not together and spirally. Um, yeah, looks a, quite a bit better. This was my second one when I tried a completely different technique and that's when I got it to do what I wanted it to do, but it was way too big. And then I did another one, um, a little bit smaller, but not by a whole lot. And finally, I've got ones, I'll show you the comparison. This one, I believe is the size um, I want. Let me show you next to the doll. So yeah, in relationship to him, it will be a nice size. So one down, 50 trillion more to go. Um, I will get back to you. Bye. So I finished a whole skein of yarn and still have that much left. So I'm on hold until I can get to the craft store and get some more yarn, but it's looking pretty good. All right, bye. So I technically have finished the wig. It's just super thick on him, so I'm going to do cutting, a lot of cutting, but I guess I'll show you what it looks like on him. Hold on. Yeah, it's just like ridiculous. So let's see what I can do. But no matter what, it was meant to be a practice to see if I could even do it. Um, and so for that, I'm happy. I've learned a lot of things. I think I, when I do the real, real wig, it'll be even better. And it was, although it was time consuming, it really was not difficult at all. So let's see. Um, let me get to cutting and then we'll see the absolute final. Bye. It's really dark because it's supposed to storm any minute and for the rest of the day. But um, so this is my final project. Blah. This is my final product. Product. Mm, I should learn how to speak. Um, it's still more poofy than I want it. But like I said, this was only a test. Uh, wig to see if I could even do it and I have to say um, even though it's not how the final you know vision um, I'm not mad at it and I feel like I learned a lot of things and um, hopefully the few adjustments that I want to make will make it come out perfect um, but if anyone Edla Anybody wants to give me any advice on how to um, have it not so thick, but at the same time not look like it's has bald spots if I don't do the dreads right next to each other, please feel free to give me any advice. Um, but yeah, Denver's wig is finished for now until I get some more materials to try again. Um, that is all. Talk to you guys later. Bye.